Earlier, you called the mammal pod a butterfly. Not a pupa or a cocoon, but an imago. Yes, the AI that came before the mammal pod were works in progress. Works in progress? They were enough to keep the frame running, but not enough to make decisions about nuclear retaliation. They weren't quite complete. They were pupae. Only when I added the boss's data did the AI take on its true form, becoming a butterfly and taking flight. And that's why the nose art on Peace Walker was a butterfly. I gave the mammal AI the code name B.S. Imago. B.S. is short for boss. Huey called that gigantic unmanned chopper a chrysalis. Is that another one of your AI code names? Yes, you're referring to the TJ Chrysalis 6000. There's also the GW Pupa 5000, the TR Cocoon 7000. I get it. A hovercraft type and a treaded type. And those letters on the front. TJ, GW, or whatever. Those are initials? Correct. The initials of the American presidents whose faces are carved into Mount Rushmore. Then you're missing one. I assigned that one to the reptile pod. AL Aurelia 8000. Aurelia. Another word for chrysalis. A pupa just before it emerges. All of the initials, except for B.S., were of Coldman's choosing. I chose mine from the storied ranks of British royalty. M.S., A.V., E.W. What do those stand for? You can't guess. Why, Mary Stewart, Alexandrina Victoria, and Elizabeth Windsor. Uh, all queens, of course. Are you familiar with the film 2001, A Space Odyssey? Uh, I've heard of it, but... Uh... <laughs> of course not. I didn't expect you to be cultured enough to appreciate such things. Yeah, thanks. Anyway... 2001 features an AI called HAL, a highly advanced system that controls an exploration spacecraft. It can converse with people and even play chess. Oh, uh, now where have I heard that before? The way HAL was portrayed was... Truly superb. How so? Hal is given secret orders that not even the ship's captain knows about. Naturally, he's not allowed to divulge them to the crew. The stress of it causes Hal to crack. Crack? Go crazy. Though there are those who interpret it differently. One by one, Hal kills off the crew until the captain finally shuts it down. The film offers amazing insights into AI. Their growth. Their utility, their faults, and their fear of death. Well, you must have found it useful in your research, then. Must you always be so utilitarian? It doesn't matter whether or not it's useful. What matters is that it inspired me. Then it was useful. Never mind. The portrayal of Hal wasn't the only wonderful thing about the film. It was full of hints about the future of human evolution. Truly. A film for the ages.